think I know what you're asking. You're annoying. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Fierce Mama. Thank you guys for stopping by once again. I love, love the support. So in today's video, I am going to be going over some, basically a Q&A. I initiated this. So last week I went on my Instagram and I posted a story basically asking people what they thought of me, what their first impressions were of me, and also what questions that they have for me. So I think that I kind of am an open book, but some things you might not know, some things I might not share, and you might be curious. I'm saying might a lot. Might, 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 hitting me up in my DMs. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, so we got very standard question. Thank you for this question. I'm not going to put who these questions are from. I did respond to everybody and I let them know I will not be putting who they're from, but I will just be answering them just in case they don't want themselves to be out there. I know there was one or two trolls as well. I see you troll. All right, so what's your favorite color? Mm -hmm. Question, and you wrote color and favorite the American way, so I know you are American. My favorite color is purple, very simple. A lot of people like say purple is royalty, that's what purple is known for. When I was growing up, my favorite color was red, and I loved red until I was four, and my sister was like, no, you can't. You can't love the color red, you better pick another color. So I was like, oh my God, what do I do? Okay, so I should explain the reason I was not allowed to have red as my favorite color is because that was my sister's favorite color. I remember my exact age, three and a half, and she was seven and a half. And then I thought to myself, oh, wait a minute, purple is way better anyway. <laughs> like it was a real problem for me as a little four year old. And then I decided I love red, but I actually love, love, love purple. So yeah, that is my favorite color. Thank you for your question. Question number two. How old are you? You're under 30, right? So my actual age is, my real, real age is, and in case you didn't hear that, I will say it once again. I am years old. Next. This is a comment. So, you seem like a snob. Currently I seem like a snob or what? You seem like a snob, but as soon as you smiled and we started talking, I realized how nice you are. Aww. I'm sorry for not thinking that you actually braided your own daughter's hair. Never judge a book by its cover. Emoji, emoji. <laughs> I actually have to laugh at this one because, yeah, I've gotten this a few times. People think I'm a snob. My resting, I don't like to say resting bee because um, I don't call myself that. I'm not a bad bee. I don't have a resting bee. But my normal face is like this. But as soon as you approach me, I'm like this. All smiles all the time. So I understand if I looked like a snob. Um, and yes, I do my daughter's hair all the time. I know how to cane roll. I used to put bees in her hair when she was younger. I can hold it down. I am that mom, hence Fierce Mama. There's so much more. But thank you for that. That is very sweet. I'm glad that you got to know me and exactly never ever judge a book by its cover. Just don't do it. It doesn't turn out well. You might see someone that you're like, oh damn, that person's so fine. They're super nice. And then they're a jerk face, like an actual jerk face. So never judge a book by its cover. Um, okay. Question number four. 
Are you black? Yes. I don't know. It just says, are you black? Yes, I am. Okay, a follow-up question. What's your background? My background is everything. I like to say a little bit of everything. My parents are both mixed, Panamanian, Indian, white, uh, and Jamaican, and I'm very, very Canadian. So that is my mix um, from both of my parents on both sides. But I was born and raised right in Canada in a small city we like to call Steel City. <laughs> All right, favorite artist. Oh my gosh, this is a hard question. Um, I absolutely adore, this is such a hard question, and this is gonna sound very like cliche, like, come on, Fierce Mama, you couldn't pick anybody else? But no, my favorite artist of all time is Michael Jackson. He just set the ground for everybody, like every entertainer after him, he set that foundation with the dances, with the harmonies, with the ad-libs, with the everything, like with his, whole persona I just y'all Michael Jackson can throw down and I actually really like Elvis Presley too if any of you guys know me I'm an old soul so I love Elvis Presley like his old gospel stuff <laughs> yes not like you ain't a, you ain't a, you ain't a, but a hound dog crying all the time no I'm talking like his old gospel is yeah I still have the CD okay so my favorite artist of all time is Michael Jackson. Okay, that was actually from an American as well because of the way they spelled favorite. This is from a Canadian. My favorite meal from a restaurant and my favorite meal from home. Mm. So my favorite meal from a restaurant, I have to say hands down, I was talking to my girl about this the other day, it is the keg for a non-meat eater i know it sounds very funny because the keg is a steakhouse but y'all go to the keg i'm about to do a commercial for the keg go to the keg order yourself pistachio crusted salmon with garlic mashed potato and they put a little bit of asparagus on the side my mouth like let me just stop because it's gonna get real inappropriate <laughs> My favorite meal from home, oh my god, I have so many. My boot is like showing me all these different tricks and like really holding it down in the kitchen. I love to bake, so I love to bake my own homemade um, casseroles. So like a macaroni and cheese casserole. Yes, I'm very Canadian. Okay. Um, and I also just like some good rice and peas. And now I do it with fish. Cause I don't eat the chicken so yeah rice and peas and fish or a very mean casserole and I love spinach I love homemade spinach too like when you saute your spinach um in anything I'll put spinach in anything all right this is where the troll must have uh, decided to insert in my DM tampons are maxi pads with a question mark Tampons are, are, the letter R, maxi pads. No, they're not. Is this a statement or a question? I think I know what you're asking. You're annoying. The only reason I'm gonna answer is because I did say in my stories that I will answer every question and I will be doing a part two because I didn't get to all the questions. I took the top ones. So thank you guys for responding once again. Tampons are maxi pads. So when it is the time of the month for Fierce Mama, I'll talk about myself in the third person. She likes to wear maxi pads, day one, two, day three. The last two days, tampons, if you must know. Don't follow up, no follow up questions from me. Like don't ask what size or my flow, like that's gross. What are you stupid, are you dumb? <sighs> okay, next. Um, this is from somebody that I think is really sweet on my Instagram always and just like such a supporter. So what is your passion in life and how long have you been an artist? So my passion in life is seriously number one being a mother. I have many different passions in life. I love um, 
acting, I love fashion, I love working in education. I worked in education for 13 years. Um, but honestly, being a mother is so rewarding. It means everything to me. That is my purpose. That's my actual purpose. Um, if you guys have one, two, three, four, five, if you have a girl child, <laughs> a daughter, you have to be fierce. And that's why I call myself Fierce Mama. Um, it's not easy, but it's amazing and just like the most beautiful thing. So my number one passion in life is being a mother and love, like real, real genuine love. Yeah. And how long have you been an artist? I love you for saying that. I don't consider myself an artist. I love to do backups, as you guys see from my previous um, videos. But I've been, I grew up in the church. My father is a pastor or bishop, retired now. But yeah, I grew up as a pastor's kid. Don't say anything. I know what you guys think about pastor's kids. And it's true. We're super bad. Like, we're horrible. <laughs> we're brats. We're hardcore. But um, I grew up in the church, so I always sang in the church. And I never considered myself an artist. I just wanted to back up different artists. So I hope that answers your question. I have been singing since I was seven years old. Oh my gosh, that's it. I went over, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Crap, I should have had one more. That will be in my part two. Cause I was, I was trying to separate it 10 and 10. Fierce Mama gotta know how to count, yo. Anyways, that is it for today. Thank you guys once again for hanging out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna know more about me, DM me. This is, I'm welcoming you to DM me. My Instagram is the same as my YouTube, Fierce Mama. Thank you guys so much. Hit the subscribe button if you're liking what you see. Don't just be a person that comes by. Hit subscribe and be a fierce baby. Love you guys so much. Bye. Wait, holler at a girl, holler at a mama, holler at a fierce mama, yo. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.